Have you ever found yourself questioning the path you're on, feeling restless or dissatisfied with your current circumstances? Perhaps you've become acutely aware of the passage of time, wondering about the meaning and purpose of your life as you approach middle adulthood. If so, you might be intrigued to explore the enigmatic phenomenon known as the midlife crisis. Join me as we seek to understand the intricacies of the midlife crisis, unveiling its secrets and potential for personal growth along the way. Welcome to Life's Echoes, and if you enjoy and want more of these kind of videos, please like, share, and subscribe. The origins of the term midlife crisis can be traced back to the work of psychologist Elliot Jacks, who first introduced the concept in 1965. Jacks observed and documented the experiences of individuals in their middle adulthood, typically between the ages of 40 and 60. He described a phase during this period where individuals faced a psychological crisis characterized by feelings of discontent, uncertainty, and a desire for significant life changes. It is often marked by a sense of unease or restlessness, a questioning of one's life choices and achievements, and heightened awareness of mortality and the passage of time. Let us tackle the three important aspects of these psychological phenomena. The origin or the cause, the signs or manifestation, and the coping strategies. The experience of a midlife crisis can be influenced by various factors and it is often a culmination of multiple causes rather than a single event. Here are some potential causes that may contribute to the onset of a midlife crisis. Biological changes. Middle adulthood is a period characterized by various biological changes, including hormonal shifts and physical aging. Hormonal fluctuations, such as changes in testosterone and estrogen levels, can impact mood, emotions, and overall well-being potentially contributing to feelings of restlessness or dissatisfaction. Men aged beyond 30 or 40 years old may experience a gradual decline in testosterone. However, factors such as alcohol abuse, medication side effects, illness, and increased body fat can also decrease testosterone. Women will experience menopause, which comes with a variety of symptoms, such as mood changes and difficulty in sleeping, which contributes to an increase in overall stress. The number two cause is life transitions. Middle adulthood is a time when individuals often face significant life transitions. These transitions can include children leaving home for college or starting families of their own, caring for aging parents experiencing the empty nest syndrome, or approaching retirement. Approaching retirement is another major life transition that can trigger a midlife crisis. Individuals may feel uncertain about their identity and purpose outside of their career, leading them to seek new avenues for personal fulfillment. Unmet aspiration is the next cause of these phenomena. As people progress through life, they may accumulate a set of expectations and goals that they hope to achieve. However, the reality of life's limitations may not always align with these aspirations. The last cause of these crises is the relationship issues. Relationships undergo changes over time, and middle adulthood is a phase when long-term partnerships may encounter challenges. They may question the emotional intimacy, communication, or shared values with their partners, leading to a reevaluation of their commitment. The so-called midlife marriage crisis can be a significant trigger for individuals facing doubts about the strength and satisfaction of their relationships. The potential causes of a midlife crisis are multifaceted and interwoven, and may all play a role in shaping this intriguing psychological phenomenon. Overall, midlife crisis is a complex and individualized experience. While these signs are commonly observed, not everyone going through middle adulthood will experience them to the same degree or in the same manner. So how do you know if you're experiencing these so-called psychological phenomena? These are the common signs and manifestation of the said psychological crisis. Number 1. Dissatisfaction with current life circumstances. During midlife crisis, individuals may experience a profound sense of dissatisfaction with various aspects of their life. 
This dissatisfaction can encompass their career, relationships, financial situation, or general lifestyle. They may feel unfulfilled or stuck in a routine, leading to a desire for change or a need to reassess their choices. Number two sign is heightened awareness of aging and mortality. As individuals approach middle adulthood, they become more aware of the aging process and the passage of time. This heightened awareness of mortality can trigger feelings of anxiety and a sense of urgency to make the most of their remaining years. They may also reflect on past achievements and confront the limitations of time left to pursue certain goals. The third manifestation is restlessness, anxiety, or disillusionment. Midlife crisis can bring about restlessness and inner turmoil. The individual may feel a sense of unease or anxiety without a clear understanding of its cause. Feelings of disillusionment may arise from the realization that life hasn't turned out as expected or that certain dreams have not been realized. Next sign is questioning past decisions and contemplating major life changes. During midlife crisis, People may question the decisions they made earlier in life. They might wonder if they made the right career choice, married the right partner, or prioritized certain aspects of life over others. This introspection can lead to contemplating major life changes, such as switching careers, ending relationships, or relocating. So what do we do if we experience these signs and manifestation? If we are having these anxiousness, self-doubt, feeling of regrets and uncertainties. How do we handle those unpleasant emotions? Here are some of coping strategies that will help you unburden those negative thoughts and feelings. Number one, seek support. Building a support network is crucial during a midlife crisis. Engaging in open and honest conversations with friends, family members, or a therapist can provide a safe space to express emotions and concerns. Sharing feelings with trusted individuals can offer different perspectives, validate experiences, and provide valuable emotional support. Joining support groups or seeking online communities with individuals facing similar challenges can create a sense of camaraderie and validation. If feelings of distress or anxiety become overwhelming, seeking guidance from a mental health professional, such as a therapist or counselor, can be beneficial. Professional support can provide valuable tools and coping strategies to navigate the challenges of a midlife crisis and address underlying emotional issues. Number two coping strategy is to emphasize positive aspects. Focus on the positive aspects of life and recognize personal strengths and achievements. Cultivating gratitude and appreciation for what one is can shift the focus toward the positive elements of life, promoting a more optimistic outlook. View the midlife crisis as an opportunity for personal growth and self-discovery. Embrace the process of change and growth, allowing it to lead to greater self-awareness and fulfillment. Be open to exploring new perspectives and possibilities for personal development. Number three is to explore new interests. Midlife presents an opportunity to rediscover old passions or explore new hobbies and interests. Engaging in activities that bring joy and fulfillment can provide a sense of purpose and direction during this transitional phase. Pursuing new interests can also lead to new social connections and personal growth. And lastly, engaged in healthy habits. Prioritize physical and mental well-being by engaging in regular exercise, maintaining a balanced diet, and ensuring sufficient rest. Physical health plays a crucial role in emotional resilience and overall well-being. Physical activity solves the biological cause of these phenomenon, as the body releases more chemicals and hormones that help stabilize our mood whenever we engaged in physical activities. Additionally, practicing relaxation techniques such as yoga or mindfulness meditation can help manage stress and promote emotional stability. Coping with midlife crisis is a daunting, but not an impossible task. Each individual's experience is unique, and it's essential to find coping mechanisms that resonate personally. By embracing change, self-reflection, and personal growth, individuals can navigate the challenges of midlife with greater resilience and find renewed purpose and fulfillment in this transformative stage of life. In the depths of middle adulthood, an enigmatic and turbulent psychological storm emerges, known as the midlife crisis.
As the clock relentlessly ticks, discontentment and restlessness grow, shrouding the soul in an unsettling fog of uncertainty. Yet, amidst this turmoil, a glimmer of hope emerges like a beacon in the darkness. The midlife crisis, as dramatic as it may be, also presents an opportunity for transformation and renewal. By bravely facing the inner turmoil, individuals can rewrite their life's narrative, embracing the second act with courage and determination. These is life's echoes, and if you feel you're in the same crisis or learn something new in this video, please like, subscribe, and share your thoughts in the comments below. And as always, thank you for watching.